officially two days out. Two freaking days. So this is the official track suit. How cool are these? Only Olympians get these. So uh, this means that we've already done our check-ins. She got her number. Yep, number 17. Lucky, lucky number 17. Hell yeah. So it's starting to feel more and more real. Getting a little goosebumps. Oh my gosh. Goosebumps. <laughs> I mean, we literally think about this moment for an entire year. Literally since last Olympia. So, and I got a text at 5 a.m. this morning. Her weight dropped again. So guess <laughs> what? We had to pump the food up. We pulled some more cardio out, and we went to the gym. Yeah. You had a fun little photo shoot. Oh yeah, Dustin Raymond. That was fun. Dustin Raymond. Fun. I was impressed because there was some smoke. Yeah. There was some outfit changes. You couldn't even tell where we were, which was cool. You know what I love is when photographers know what they want, and he's like, turn out hair this way. Like he. I loved it because I'm not a model, so him telling me exactly where he wanted me, super helpful. Yeah. Um, badass think, photos. Yeah, but as far as like people getting photo shoots done, you you have a very good sense of where your body is in space. I feel like I've you learned always a lot. photograph well. I've practiced. Even JM <laughs> has said to me like of all the people when you, you guys get together in groups and photograph, you're just one of the most natural. Which is shoot. a compliment, because he's shot he a lot of- He shoots all the best. I mean, Janet, Everybody. Etla, yeah, yeah, gosh. Some some iconic shots, so yeah. there's gonna be some of you. So we got a photo shoot, got a good pump in the gym, you guys saw that already. Yeah, and that's what, that's what kind of Olympia week is about. I mean, you know, we tend to focus on, okay, we're gonna get on stage and do our job, but outside of that, there's all these things, and it can, it can easily become a distraction if you let it. Definitely. So this year, it's nice that we've kind of got that experience and we get to go okay we're here to do our job yeah and I think you know being at check-ins too I noticed there's so many different personalities um, there's a lot of people who are like super pumped up super excited like the energy is there yeah. there's other girls who are kind of just like you can tell they're kind of new reserved yeah um, I'm definitely on the more reserved side <laughs> but that's your more natural place that's to my be personality yeah, yeah. Um, so it was it was fun to see the whole group everybody we got a group photo and it made it like real. Like it's I'm sure they're gonna post that group photo tonight. Yeah. Um, JM's pretty quick with that stuff, so we can probably throw that in the video. For here. sure. But now we have one more big event for the day. Yeah, we have the meet and greet. So I have a really cool story. The year before Naraja became an Olympian, I went to the Olympia, having never had anybody qualify for the Olympia, and I said, I'm going to have an Olympian next year. I am going to go to the Meet the Olympians for the first time just and walk around it. just to see yeah. what it was like. And I was like, okay. And literally like two weeks later, you got Olympic qualified, <laughs> you know? So this is always fun for me. Now we get to come here and experience but this. But that's, I think I love that so much because we are both experience it, experiencing it at the same almost level from different yeah. points of view. Yeah. It's like we're both still very much fans of the sport. Yeah, oh yeah. And it's exciting. I'm just... Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I remember, <laughs> I remember 10 years ago coming to my first Olympia, and just, you know, like, just eyes wide open, head on a swivel. Um, and, and three years ago, I reached out just saying I wanted to be on the Olympia stage for the first time, yeah. whether as an amateur or as a pro, yeah. you know, just to experience it. So now we're here. We're here. <laughs> so I think we're going to go meet the Olympians. We're going to keep it chill the rest of the night. We're going to do one final check-in before she goes to bed to make sure she's not dropping more weight. Which... Um, uh -oh. <laughs> we might. <laughs> we gotta walk all the way back. Um, you can just feel it now. I can just feel yeah, it like. Yeah. So, and then tomorrow's the final day. We got, it's kind of a chill day for you because the check ins are done. Yeah. We're gonna do one hour at the bikini booth, number 104. Um, and I think that's pretty much all your responsibilities, right? You got some yeah. tan you're gonna do, some. And just put my feet up and yeah. kind of get in that mindset, get in that zone for, for tomorrow, for Saturday. So we're gonna go do another early workout. We got some footage from the workout today. Um, just a light little upper body circuit. Tomorrow is gonna be a little more intensity through the lower body. We gotta make sure we're not striated um, yeah. in the hamstrings and stuff. So we're gonna eat a little bit. And um, so we'll get some footage of that. So we'll do a whole nother video for tomorrow. But today we got photo shoot, we got training, it was we got check-in, we still got Meet the Olympians, and Ricky's got his hands cut out for him, work <laughs> cut out for him. Mm -hmm. So, hope you guys are enjoying the, the, the journey. This is yeah, kind you. of what the Olympia is all about. So, follow this young lady's journey. I mean, this is... Somebody's gonna corpse nut! <laughs> this is literally like... Oh, shit! Wow, okay. Get your waist and your shoulders. Dude. You know, it looks like it looks like you've actually doubled your waist. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna call Jam so we can start the show tomorrow. <laughs> Tell us what you're eating. Yo. I'm eating 
eating a really boring meal right now because normally I would have my shrimp and rice, but I don't have a kitchen yet. So we're settling for turkey, which is deli turkey breast from Publix. It's the oven roasted turkey. Just the little things. Um, and then we have rice cakes and my one of my favorite toppings, which is cookie butter, sea salt, pink salt. No, not for any special reason other than I just like the taste. Um, sometimes I'll do almond butter because it's higher fats and my little baby chocolate chips that I like to sprinkle on top always with my coffee or almond milk because I like to pretend that it's milk and cookies <laughs> one of my prep hacks I have such a sweet tooth um, so I like to fit as many things that kind of satisfy that as possible like within reason obviously I'm not gonna go overboard but that's my meal so I'm gonna wait until I finish my turkey, which should only take like two seconds, <laughs> and um, top my caramel rice cakes and sit back and enjoy. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Enjoy. Eat with my hands because I'm a lady. <laughs> I mean, it's ham. If you would have pulled out a fork and a knife, you might be a psychopath. Seriously. I mean, come on. <laughs> Mr. Roger Hill, what was your first true Olympia meet the athletes? My first true, like. honestly, oh, I loved it. Okay. I think this time was more fun, not just because I feel better, but the energy, the atmosphere, like it feels like a real expo. Yes. So. Have you ever actually been to a full fitness expo? Actually, no. So, I went to yeah. the the. Orlando Yerba. Yeah. That was it. That's like a fraction of this. Yeah. So this is exciting for me because we get to actually experience it. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be good. So long day. A lot's been done. You've seen a lot of stuff. We're going to go. She needs to get to bed. We got one more day and then it's time to hit the big stage. So you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. 